All right, so I got a Grandmaster Ancient to Earth Spirit that I'm going to do a quick little replay review for. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into the laning stage, and I'll tell you guys what I think. So it's probably going to be uh, Venge offlane, and then Weaver CM. Items are okay. Uh... I would obviously just say buy them in the like draft stage so you can run out and get your wards done faster. And I would maybe get some mangoes instead of the salve here. So right away. Especially at this time, two seconds left, I would just roll onto the rune. So that way you can stun whoever goes to pick up the rune and then you can grab the rune from them. I get trying to get the CM kill, but I would just rather grab the rune. I mean, it, maybe if you can secure the kill, it's alright, but you don't land the roll on the CM, so I would just go for the rune. Well, the Weaver's gonna die anyways. Lugna dies as well. Not great, but not terrible. But yeah, see now, especially against good pause fives, it can be really awkward to try and place your ward once the lane starts. So that's the only reason I would say just try and buy your items a little bit faster and run out and place your ward. Because now it might be a little bit more difficult to place it without him knowing. Lane's pushing in already. Like they blocked the camp. See, I'm just placed a sentry there, but you didn't see. So lane's pushing in, so all you really need to do now is stop the same from side pulling this hard camp. Okay, nice. I missed that pull there. Oh, I don't like this. So, right here, all you did was just, you just guys, you guys took a trade and do a full creep wave when your creeps are dying. And it's just a terrible trade going into a full creep wave. There's no reason to like overextend and commit into the wave. If you're gonna take a fight, you need for just wait for them to get out of position, and then take a fight into your creep wave. There's no reason to walk this far up and try and commit for this kill. Oh, you're gonna die too. Yeah, there's no reason for that, especially in the waves already pushing in. There's no reason to commit for a kill. Just get your level two and wait for the CM to get out of position, and then try and roll and kick her back. Okay, blocking the camp. I like that. All right, so now you know that there's a ward here. Terrible. I would have maybe kicked her back, actually. Yeah, you kick her back, maybe the CM dies there. Roll, kick back, this and then the avenge can stun. But it's fine. Lane's still pushing into you. It just feels like you're trying to force too much in this lane. Like, the lane's been pushing to you, and you're just trying to force stuff into the creep wave. Just let the lane get back and wait for, like, the CM to get out of position. Uh, Weaver's already a really hard kill without detection and this early on. So I would just, just chill and wait for the CM to get out of position and then go for a kill. Like, especially when the, when the lane's always pushing back into you, there's no reason to try and force stuff. Also, yeah, I was just about to say, that's the first time you looked, you've looked mid this whole time. And this Batrider is kind of owning your Pugna. You just need to be aware of heroes like, like Batrider. Yeah, like this should be a free kill. 
Um, heroes that like really snowball and dominate the lane, if you can TP and stop them from snowballing, then you can just like ruin their game completely. Um, like if you TP mid and stop this Batrider from killing your Pugna and, and turn it on him like once or twice, then his game is just over. Uh, and you didn't even look mid once before this. Something to just be aware of. Because like otherwise this Batrider can really just start to take over the game and be impossible to deal with. So, yeah, I really don't like this magic wand here. I feel like getting a full wand without having other items is really terrible most times. I'm gonna try to just see, getting, see you getting the stats for the urn. Ooh, nice kick on the weaver there. Like, getting the full wand doesn't really give you anything, it just seems like a waste of gold, in my opinion. Once again, not really even looking mid at all. Yeah, once again, this guy dived. Might not be able to save like the Pugna from dying, but if if you can get a return kill on this Bat Rider, it's actually huge in stopping him from snowballing, and it'd be a shit ton of gold for you as well. <clears throat> I'd also love for you not paying attention for the the runes at all. You really need to be like kind of cognitive of what's happening in your other lanes. Especially like this lane has like been pushing up the whole time. They're not really playing aggressive. Like the only time you guys died in this lane was like when you overextended for no reason and just gave them kills. And you haven't been paying attention to the other lanes to see where you could have impact. Like in this lane, you, you can only really kill this the CM easily early on, and you haven't really even gone on her at all. And you haven't been paying attention to any of the other lanes for kills. Nice kill there. So like that that one was that one was kinda much better. Kinda waited you waited for the weaver to overextend into your creep wave and fuck up and then you get a kill. That's how you need to play Earth Spirit in these lanes. Wait for the opponents to fuck up and then just take your free kills. You don't need to force shit. And then there's four heroes in your lane. How much you can do about that. Except for maybe I would recommend just placing this ward. You've had this ward for a long time. A, real, a ward I really like is kind of like here or here early on. It just kind of stops with the rotations coming in from the side here. And I would also definitely, like these wards, like well, I can already predict what's going to happen here early on. These wards, their, play, their support has been facing in the jungle has really kind of it's gonna start boxing in your team. I would much rather you see like see like smoke and get some like wards here and here. It kind of just makes your map feel bigger because now that they took this tower, they're just gonna come start take trying to take this tower mid tower, and it's gonna make your map feel incredibly small if you're a Medusa to farm. And this bat rider is just gonna start killing you guys one by one. So I would definitely recommend trying to buy out the wards on pause four and getting some more aggressive vision early on, just so you can kind of. Feel like you have more of a map and you're just like can find more place to farm. This bat rider is out of control, and I saw at least two opportunities. There's probably even more, but at, at least two for sure, where this guy's diving your tower mid at one HP, kill your uh, kill your pugna. Where if you just TP, it's a free kill. It totally changes how this game goes.
probably could have got there faster if you didn't TP. There you go. That's a good kill. Yeah, that's just, uh, I guess, just paying attention that your, your wrench TP'd ahead of you. Probably could have been there faster if you just kept running and rolled on this guy. Yeah, definitely. See, bat riders, especially at this rank, dude, they're gonna overextend so many times, and they're just free kills if you're just paying attention. And the easiest way to, like, just totally fuck somebody up is... So when heroes have their power spike, when these mid-heroes have their power spike, they're gonna play overly aggressive with their power spikes. And if you can TP and stop their power spike and get a kill during their power spike, then it just shuts them down completely. And you definitely could have shut down this bat rider way harder. We've been holding on to these two wards for like five minutes. I haven't placed them. Nice kill. I would not have ulted there, but... There's nothing you can do against this here. Swaps you. That's fine. I'd be careful. This guy's gonna turn on you. I definitely hate... I haven't even been looking at your items. I definitely hate this. I don't know why you're not just gonna buy the urn first. Should always just buy this urn first. What, what can you do? <laughs> But yeah, you see what I mean? Like, these like wards, these overly defensive wards are like really boxing you guys in to where you want, where you can go on the map. Like, I would much rather you see like, so you guys have wards like here, here, maybe like in the river somewhere, like here. If you can like get some sneaky wards and get like open up your map more, you know, you're like boxing yourselves in, and it's uh, your Medusa is really suffering because of it. There's like no farm. So, from what I've seen so far, the main things, in your lane, you kind of griefed your own lane by by trying to force kills and force stuff on the Weaver. All you had to do was just play patient and wait for the CM to step up, or wait for the Weaver to waste his Sakuchi, which you, you punish that one time. But just wait for the, the Weaver to mess up with his invis, or wait for the CM to walk up too far, and then you can roll in the kickback. You don't need to try and force stuff in the creep waves. And then also just paying attention to the, this mid lane. You need to be aware of uh, heroes like Batrider that are going to play overly aggressive and try and dive and kill your mid laner. If you can TP and kill this guy like two or three times, then it totally changes how this game is played out. And then with the vision as well. Uh, your guys' vision really sucks and is, is limiting uh, where you guys can play and what you guys can do. Like, all the fights have been on your side of the map, and you just have no map, no space for your Medusa to farm whatsoever. So yeah, now the game is, is really hard for you, just because of 
how the early game went. There's not a whole lot you can do on your own. Your spellcasting seems fine in these fights. You're just pretty hard, far behind, and your res vision game kind of sucks. I'd much rather you guys like see you guys taking these fights kind of up here. Like if you get some vision here, like smoke, get some vision here, play around this way. Maybe you can take a, a fight you win here, and then you can just take this tower, and it opens up your map so much more. Like if you guys can just take this tower, you guys would have so much more space to farm in the map. But you keep taking fights in your own jungle, which even though you win these fights, like like you won the last one and you got a nice smoke and a kill, um, you guys aren't able to like do anything off of the, any of these fights. So they're like not helping you recover in any way. Roll into a smoke. I mean, that's why, like, like, right now, like, what you should have done, like, five, ten minutes ago is smoke. You can even just smoke yourself and just, just place a word here. Place a word here. Place a word here. Maybe, like, this word is all right. Um, it helps you see when people are split up and kind of see what they're doing. Like, these words here, they don't really help you do they don't really help you prepare for anything all that these words are good for is helping you like take fights like in the moment um like if you're taking a fight right here you get this cliff word it helps you see what's going on in the fight but it doesn't help you prepare and like take good fights ahead of the time and if you can get some deeper vision and kind of open up the map and try and see what's going on then you can start smoking and taking isolated fights on on one or two heroes and trying to start taking back map taking back map control for your medusa Swap, let's see what you do. I love going on the back line here. Nice play. Catch the Weaver as well, nice. I would have silenced him there. It was close, but there's no reason why why you can't just like silence like right right here. Just drop the stone and then pull it and roll as you're pulling it to yourself. There's no reason not to. I was worried his um his W was gonna come off cooldown. I guess he's dusted anyway, but it's like no reason to not just drop the silence anyways. So let's see what you do now. You just killed three heroes, and this is a great time for you guys to take map, take back some map control. Let's see what you do. I want you to place your ward so badly. Okay, get another kill. That's nice. That ward's all right. I like that. I'd rather you see uh, see you um, placing a top, just because uh, it's much easier to take map control top than it is in the triangle here. But it's still a good ward. Better than the ones you've been placing. Or your, uh, your Shadow Demon has been placing. Not a terrible fight. Making space for Medusa. So it's, it's alright. This is good. I just really feel like this this game would be like 
literally like 10 times easier if if you would just play some deep words like really like even just like mentally like even if you're not acting on it just mentally it makes you like feel like you're not losing as bad when you can see more of the map and it makes your reducer feel a lot better trying to farm and you for you guys to try to take better fights instead of boxing yourselves in and it helps you like kind of plan out more like strategic fights instead of just running into them over and over again you know what i mean kind of baited your whole team in there to be honest like after that cm kill what i would have done right here after the cm kill kill this tower just run up literally just run up place wards and you can kind of you can take over this high ground right here you can just take like you can literally just take like half the map right now just because of where you won this fight, you like place you have a sentry. Does your shadow demon have any wards? No. Okay. Well, you can at least like put a sentry like right here. Check this high ground with like the 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 venge W. So place a, like a sentry here to get good coverage. You can place like a ward here or something, and then you can kind of just like take over this whole part of the map. Your Medusa can push in this top wave, and you guys have so much space. You already have pretty good vision here, which makes it even better for that situation. And you literally will just take over like. Just like that, even though you're 6k behind and they've you've, they've been owning you all game, you can just take over like three fourths in the map, just by running up here, placing on a ward, and just sitting together with your team and just farming. Instead, you get greedy and just kind of roll on this Rubik and bait your whole team into another bad fight, and then you're just gonna lose lose the map control again. Get the weaver that's nice avenge is owning good kill so it works all right in the end but you end up dying let's see what your team does Yeah, like it just seems like there's like no like thought process that goes into any of the fights that are happening. It's just random fights, so you guys are just running into each other over and over again. And the easiest way to can to stop your team from just taking these random fights, and these random fights can are honestly like just 50-50 how it turns out. There's like it's not strategic at all. So the easiest way you can control that in sport is by placing down words where you want your team to go and kind of um, funneling your team into good spots to set up for good fights. Or getting vision that lets you see where the other team is, so you can smoke into taking good fights. Instead of just literally just a clicking the first person you see with your team. Seems like it's working out okay because your Medusa has been able to recover pretty well in the past like ten minutes, decently. But I feel like you guys could just take over this game. You just uh, took some some better fights, especially for yourself. You need a BKB so badly to play these fights. Going pipe is really bad, in my opinion.
I'd rather you see see you buy a glimmer cape than a than a pipe. Pipe just seems so bad, especially like. I mean, this game it's not. This game, your team isn't really going to buy BKBs, but generally speaking, people are just going to buy BKB anyways, which makes pipe useless for your team. And then, I'd much rather you just see a BKB on yourself instead of pipe, because if you do your job right and like go on their backline and just kind of go in, then it's going to stop your team from taking damage anyways, because they'll be focused on you and you'll be stopping them from, from using their spells. But like that last fight, as soon as you just went in, then you're pretty much just running away the rest of the fight. You're not able to actually like, disengage for your next set of spells. Get the ages. So yeah, at this point in the game, it's like I said, it's it's a lot harder for you to kind of individually have much more of impact because you miss your window so much early in the early game. You guys literally could have stomped this game if you played a little bit better in lane, come out better in your lane, and then you impacted mid lane a little bit better. Your Pugna has a much better game. This would be a totally different game because you guys own. It seemed like you guys almost came back into it in the mid game, and then you kind of had a little bit of bad map movement after that. So you de I feel like you definitely could have shifted the outcome of this game. But now, once you like fuck up in that early game and you're behind, it's a lot harder individually on Earth Spirit to to have an impact. And going pipe is definitely not gonna help that either. Let's see how you guys take this last fight. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Camera placement kind of sucks. Remember rolling on this guy? My camera would immediately be like this. I'd roll in and immediately move my camera this way so I could see what the heck is going on over here. Yeah, like, you didn't even silence that guy. I mean, like, you literally just move your camera this way and then you're, you can see what you're doing. You just miss your silence completely. Still don't even know what's going on. Yeah, that fight went okay. Camera placement just was really bad that fight. You missed your silence. Nice swap. So you just kind of need to be aware. Notice every single fight, all you do is just roll onto the first person you see and then press all your spells, which is fine, but you should try and be a little bit more aware of like who kills you and like what you're looking to do. Especially before you have BKB. I mean, you went pipe anyways, but before you have a BKB, Like, I would rather you, like, not fully commit. Like, I would rather you roll to the side here and silence to see him. And right, and then maybe, like, vessel somebody and send out a kick. Just so you can stay alive for your next set of spells. Right? 
Because uh, pretty much every single fight that's happened, you ran in, used all your spells, and then immediately died afterwards. Um, so you need to kind of figure out if in the fights, if you're able to roll in, use your spells, and then get out for your next set of spells, or if you need to not fully commit to be able to survive. And that's totally fine to do, to 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 stay back and like just like send out your, your, your silence and your slow at max range and not roll in. If it's able to like keep you alive to keep using fights, like to keep staying in the fight. Uh, but that's definitely a hard concept. You need to know like what heroes kind of kind of fuck you up and what heroes don't, so you can kind of better judge when you're able to fully commit and when you need to kind of hold off a little bit. And then like holding off a little bit as well kind of helps you see what's going on in the fight, so you can find like like the CM or the Rubik alone and and get a kill on one of them. Okay, nice. Nice word there. Secure the Roche. That was nice. That was good. I'd love to see you guys push top now. I'd rather you guys just take this outpost, push top, and then set up both these two waves going in. We're gonna push the high ground here. Okay. Medusa is strong. Just roll away. Yeah, I would have much rather just seen you guys take this top tower. How much time do we have? Go on for a couple more minutes before I call it. Let's watch this real quick. His eyes. Especially once they get BKBs, it's an unlate gamer spirit. You really need to kind of wait and kite out their BKBs before you commit. Because just rolling in and using our spells when they have BKBs is kind of useless, right? So I feel like you definitely could have just walked up or done a short roll and silenced the CM ult. There's no reason to just roll into to two BKBs, right? Because so far your, on your only impact on the fight was stopping the CM ult and some damage on the CM kill. Yeah, which you did not need to full commit and could have stayed on your own high ground, just silenced him and chilled. Right, and then maybe you kill this Mercy right there. The pipe is, is so useless. <laughs> I wish you had a BKB. I'm just gonna run it back down mid, okay. Let's get this outpost and go push in the top wave. Just gonna chase this batter on the whole map. Okay. Yeah, I would literally just ignore the bat rider there. Like, what are you guys doing? Just push the top wave in and take the top tower. Who cares about this bat rider? He has BKB, you're not gonna kill him. And then he baits your whole team into a bad fight. Like, play around your vision. You guys have this map control. Push top wave, chill here, take the top directs. No reason to go bottom. Get double lassoed and then both just die. Yeah, these fights just seem really random and not thought out at all. You guys just running at each other every time you're up. Goodbye back, that's alright. You guys can push bottom now.
I think I'm gonna stop the replay here. So, honestly, this game, to me, it really felt like nobody won or lost this game. This game felt so random because the things that you could have done to win the game, you didn't do. So let me just recap uh, what I thought. So in the in the landing stage, it felt like you were just forcing stuff. That was perfect right there. Look at that. You're, it looks like you're just like forcing stuff, right? You're just trying to roll on this guy and force kills. That is definitely not going to be a kill. And I mean, it's okay to kind of like trade and harass, but when you're just like full committing on into a creep wave, onto a weaver you have no detection for, it just seems really bad, right? Just wait for the opportunities to come to you. Wait for this the CM to step up too far, which surely he will do. Wait for the CM to step up too far and then kick him back to your revenge. Wait for your creep wave to double up and then kick him back into the creep wave. You, you forced way too much stuff and... I only saw one opportunity where you you got the kill after the guy um, used Sakuchi and then ended in front of the creep wave and you went on and got the kill. And then next, you didn't you didn't pay attention to mid at all. You could have totally shifted like the entire outcome of the game, right? If you if you just TP'd mid like at least twice, maybe even three times. I only saw it two times, and and just killed this bat rider while he's diving your tower. Like huge, it would have changed the game completely. And then next was your vision. It seemed like your Shadow Demon was buying out most of the words, so I would just buy the words myself, right? And just place more aggressive vision. Like, you don't want to lock yourself in with your vision. Like, these super defensive words, they don't help you, like, at all. It like, just locks you in even more. You want to expand out with your vision so you can uh, see when heroes are isolated and go for smoke ganks that way. And then uh, coming into the mid game, same thing with those words. You, I, I just want to see more aggressive words so you can take more thought out smokes instead of just smoking and then running at the first person you see, right? Smoke and just place down vision and then take map control and then find somebody alone. And with your items, I don't know what this vitality booster and then earn was. Yeah, just get the earn as fast as possible so you can get the charges going. And the same thing with buying the, the magic wand early. And then I'll just buy your BKB, like. Like, Pipe doesn't do anything, like, your job is to go in and stop them casting spells, right? And every single fight this game, you literally just rolled in, casted your spells, and then died. You just would full commit in and just die. You had no way to, like, disengage because you didn't have a BKB. And you would just full commit in when, when they had BKBs. Just wait, just walk to the side, use your silence, and just chill. And then just kind of wait for your next set of spells and then find a target to go on. You don't need to full commit and then just die. And the BKB helps you like helps you not just die instantly when you roll in. So it lets you commit harder when you have a BKB. And the pipe, I mean, like I said, it just it seems seems like a waste. Like like you're gonna stop them from doing more damage with the BKB to your team. Then you're gonna have a pipe that's gonna stop damage to your team, right? Because they're gonna be they're going to be dealing with you with the BKB or spirit just running at them and silencing them. They're not going to be able to cast their spells, right? And you just have the pipe and it just does nothing. And you just die every single time. Um, but other than that, like I said, your, your, your control in the game significantly goes down after the early game. Once you fuck that up, then it's a little harder for you specifically to kind of change what's going on. But your spellcasting seemed okay. Uh, definitely need to work on the items, and um, I would buy out more words myself. Kind of um, help your team fight in better locations. Um, but thank you for spinning in the replay, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, little commentary.